Welcome, everyone. Before we introduce ourselves, let me introduce the title, which is a ginormous title, of the grant that uh, we are applying for. Let me say that we made this video because we are working with other states to apply for the Administration on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Regional Self-Advocacy Technical Assistance Grant, HHS-2013. Dash ACL dash AIDD dash DN dash zero zero six zero. I'm Max Barrows and I'm the outreach coordinator for Green Mountain Self Advocates. I'm Young Peoples, I'm Green Mountain Self Advocates. I'm a disability educator and specializes in social media. Hello, I'm Nicola Blank, Advocacy Coordinator at Green Mountain Self-Advocates, also known as the Guardian of Inclusion and Budget Watchdog. Back in 1994, Green Mountain Self-Advocates started as a local group uh, situated in Burlington. Now, 19 years later, we are a group, we are an organization that has 23 local groups throughout the state of Vermont. Each group contains 600 plus members with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We have an office in Montpelier. We have six people who work out of our office for our self-advocates. I love working for Green Mountain Self-Advocates. It is a great organization. It makes people feel included and together. And we make a difference. And we have a voice. The purpose of this video is to tell the world why we are agreeing to work with Northeast Advocates together on a grant we are submitting to AIDD. We are working with five other states, New York, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts, and Maine. Let me tell you something about this grant. It's all about peer-to-peer -peer connections. You may be wondering what I mean by peer-to-peer -peer connections. Let me tell you this. Through my observation going around visiting self-advocates throughout the state, I have learned that self-advocates or persons with disabilities who join self-advocacy, really when they connect with peers, it's changed their lives. Here are some examples. Self-advocates tell me that when they are seeking advice to help them move forward with their lives, sometimes the advice that they you know, get from people that at first they look to, are not, it's not always satisfying to them. You know, sometimes the advice they have gotten. It's been too, felt too controlling. It kind of feels like they're being told what to do. When they connect with other peers, they get advice that can help them move forward. From people that they connect with, they can share experiences with each other. And that is the advice that self-advocates are looking for, from other peers, because they know what it's like to grow up in the shoes of a person with a disability. The truth comes from us. You know, another way that I've observed how self-advocacy has changed the lives of persons with disabilities is people connect with each other and realize they are not alone. They may graduate high school or they may not know what self-advocacy is, but, you know, truth be told, when they meet uh, other people, you know, I can tell you this, that they learn from each other and they learn that they, you know, have faced tough times like everyone else, and they're not the only one who has, you know, grown up with a person, uh, faced tough times as a person with a disability. And when they connect with people who have gone through the same experiences as them, if not similar, it really empowers them. And also, they learn things about themselves that they may not have been aware of when they were younger. So I think that peer peer connections, peer-to-peer -peer connections, excuse me, is very important in this regard. We understand that as part of this grant, we will complete a needs assessment, and we have experience at needs assessments doing focus forums, interviews, surveys, because we did this for the Self-Advocacy Summit that happened in 2011 in Rhode Island. We also did needs assessment as part of a grant for the Department of Justice, OVW, on domestic and sexual violence issues. We understand as part of the NEAT Regional Technical Assistance Project for self organization, 
Green Mountains of Africa, they work together with a board made up of peer leaders to develop a state plan for strengthening our peer-to-peer -peer connections in Vermont and throughout the Northeast. We understand that there is not a lot of money for travel and we will work with peers in other states to come up with creative ways to connect. We have Vermonters from the Northeast Advocates Together, NEAT Advisory Committee. The three self-advocates are myself, Max Barrows, Nicole LeBlanc, David Fry, with Sterling Peoples as the alternate, and one ally from the Developmental Disabilities Network, who is Deborah Lisi Baker, the associate director of the Center on Disability and Community Inclusion at the University of Vermont. Deborah is also a person with a developmental disability. So we will end this video version of our memorandum of agreement by sharing why we are so excited about getting this grant. Um, social media platforms are a major way for people to enhance our communication with each other. We have the ability to make a big impact on survivalcy and inclusion through this grant. In this era of uh, fiscal restraint where states are looking for ways to save money in their service system, uh, one of the most cost-effective alternatives is peer support and self-advocacy. This is a perfect opportunity for our system to redesign in this new paradigm shift. And let me tell you, when it comes to peer-to-peer -to -peer connections, connecting with other people, I can't do my job effectively without connecting with other people. It's a way I learn and it's the way I can get stories from other people, have people tell me what they're going through, what they're struggling with, and just give me just a perspective in their shoes of what it's like and what needs to be done as we move forward toward true inclusion to satisfy and make a difference in everybody's lives. So on that note, I want to thank you very much for you know watching this video and I am looking forward to connecting with all of you in the future with whatever we can so we can strengthen self-advocacy within our region.